CM365 all about Carnatic music. We see that there are so many performers in the Carnatic music field, but only a few of them are able to make it to the top as star performers. Well, this is not about something magical happening. I would say that these musicians have crafted the art so well and they have honed their skills such that they are able to please the audience, they are able to create a proper connect with the audience and also win the appreciation from them. If you look at a good musician, even in our theatres, we see that there is a mention about this, about the Uttama Gayaka. Of course, the context in, it, in which it was said earlier is different. Let us look at this uh, concept of the accomplished singer. Who is an accomplished singer in the present context and uh, what are the qualities that he possesses? The first thing, of course, is about that one should have a sweet and pleasant voice. Uh, which blends perfectly with the Shruti. This is very, very important because of the fact that even if there is a novice listening to music, a layman who does not know anything about music, for him the first attraction is the voice, the sweetness of the voice. And uh, even if he doesn't know what Shruti is all about, he can definitely understand how beautifully the artist is aligning to the Shruti and that brings about a blissful experience for him. The second thing is, of course, uh, to produce the gamakas without much effort. Then the voice range is again very, very important that the artist should be able to traverse two and a half octaves at least. That is the a portion of the mandrastai, the madhyastai and the tarastai. They should be able to traverse effortlessly without much struggle that is. Then as far as the memory goes, he should be able to memorize all the songs and keep it in his head well so that even in the Mano Dharma, if there are some calculations and other things, all that should be kept in memory properly. Then of course, the creativity element is very important because our concerts, the Karnatic Kacheri is not just about um, churning out one composition after the other. It is a beautiful blend of the Mano Dharma and Kalpita. So the imagination of the artist is very, very important to create that connect with the Rasika. Then, of course, the most important thing is to sing with the sense of confidence and without stage fright. Now, only if you are confident about what you are going to deliver to your rasika, then the rasika will be able to connect to it. If you yourself look very, very worried and uh, tensed about what you are going to present, then I am sure that it will not create an impression on the audience. Then, of course, the next point is about the voice modulation. That is also very important because if the music is flat, it will not appeal to the audience. Then an understanding of the Raga Bhava and Sahitya Bhava is again very, very important because when you understand the import of the lyrics, the way you communicate the song is on a different level altogether. Similarly, when you have a good Raha, Raga Jnana, then what happens is that the way you approach the composition itself lends a distinct color and uh, beauty to it. So that way, Raga Lakshana uh, understanding as well as the Sahitya Bhava understanding is very, very important for any singer. So that way, you have to really master a number of languages and try to understand uh, these languages so that you are able to deliver your compositions better. Then, of course, the possessing of a good repertoire. If you are going to sing the same songs over and over again in your concerts, you know, everywhere, I am sure the people will get bored and they are not going to come back to you. Especially today with the virtual media taking over, we see that variety has become very, very important because in the same YouTube, if you are going to keep on singing the same song over and over again, I am sure nobody is going to listen to you. That way, uh, wide repertoire is very, very important for a musician to uh, have the impression on the audience. Then, of course, very, very important is the comfortable and a pleasant posture is very, very important. Now, if you're going to put in ugly mannerisms, today the music is as much a visual medium as it is an oral medium. So you have to be really very, very pleasant in terms of how you physically sit on the stage, how you, uh, you know, even the facial expressions, everything is very, very important uh, to give that right connect with the audience. There is also mentioned in the 
some of the earlier treatises about the uh, Gayaka doshas, that is what a musician should not be doing uh, to keep up that, uh, you know, level of uh, connect with the audience and to be pleasant on stage, what all he should not be doing. This is also very, very interesting to note, like, for example, singing with the wide mouth open, that should not be there. You should not be gritting your teeth and uh, you should not lose your breath while singing. That continuity of breath is very, very important. Then uh, if you should not be just... Uh, clearing your throat frequently you should not sing in faulty rhythm and uh, too much of shaking of the head is also not advised and uh, some of the musicians have the habit of singing with closed eyes now this is uh, really very very not correct i would say in the sense that though you may get lost in your music the connect with the audience is uh, becoming diminished because of this and of course then also if you see that some people you know especially the youngsters uh, when they are very frightened, they look at one portion of the floor and just concentrate on that and sing or some point of the auditorium, they'll be looking at singing. So all this, you know, as you evolve as a musician, you understand that every time you have to have the right connect with the audience in order to uh, get their appreciation and also to have that, you know, uh, when you want to grow as a musician, it is very, very important that you follow a lot of mannerisms and you also acquire all these qualities because it is not just about learning music, but also learning how to understand the craft of music, how to craft the music in order to make it a stage presentation. Of course, on top of all this, Lady Luck should smile on you. Only then you become a star performer. But that's a different thing. But basically, certain qualities are definitely essential for anyone to become a successful performer. CM 365, all about Carnatic music.